Hey guys, this is my non-spoilery review and in-depth, super spoilery uh, discussion coming up. Um, it's going to be broken into two videos. This video will be no spoilers. You're totally safe to watch this and then roll out it if you want. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on the movie in depth, watch the part two, the follow-up video to this for the super spoilery stuff and all that goodness. On another note, we we are over a hundred subscribers right now so thank you all so much we're in three digits now i will do something special when i can finally get to it please bear with me and the other part just have a nice day enjoy yourself and i will see you now <laughs> okay let's talk about the super mario bros movie uh long story short I thought it was fantastic, loved it. Um, you're gonna see many reviews. Some are kind of lower with the critical cinema reviews. Uh, a lot of people are in the mid to mostly positive end. I'm gonna be way over here on the super positive end off screen. I will start with the non-spoilery stuff. So we'll have the non-spoiler section here in the beginning. I will very clearly let you know when we are jumping into spoiler mode so you can roll out if you want to. And then we will go into our in-depth discussion of all the little minutia and lore in the movie. All right, so starting off, because I'm gonna be mostly positive on this, we'll start off with some of the negatives, okay? So negatives are, I wanted more. Um, one thing that is fantastic is this. The Mario and Luigi brotherly love in this movie is mm, chef's kiss. It is fantastic and that's what I really wanted to see. You also get to see a lot of all the characters' personalities, but when I say more, it's especially with Luigi and Toad, you just wanted more. I realized they had 90 minutes, so we had to nail the main three. We had to nail Mario, Peach, and Bowser. No choice in the matter, had to nail those three, period. But DK actually gets quite a bit of screen time, shockingly more than Luigi, so that's fine. Um, Charlie Day was great as Luigi, and this can be easily made up in subsequent movies, especially if you make like, a Luigi-centric movie, and we'll get to that later. <laughs> okay. Other con, this is not a con for me, but I have to say it because it seems to affect people so, so much. Um, the music, there's a lot of beautiful, wonderful orchestrated Mario music, and it's, it's even like little motifs and sound effects, which a lot of fake fans are not really catching. Um, so just keep your ears open for like sound effects, arcade sounds, everything. Like almost all the music is just from some property. Now the music that is from our world, this dimension, there's a lot of 80s music and I love 80s music. I love Karate Kid. I love just 80s nostalgia. I love the feeling of it. Now if that kind of live action music is a deal breaker from you if if you get stuck on that if that takes you out of the movie that may hurt it but i will say this about the live action music it is appropriate to what's happening on screen and if you don't like it if you really don't like it it is brief <laughs> so just kind of bite through it then it's gone but other than that, just don't worry, all the music is fantastic. In fact, one of the uh, real world songs they use, there is a part where for some reason, vehicles are being prepared for something epic. And I was thinking, how do I, what I was feeling, the excitement I was feeling at that part is very echoed in the music that they choose to play at that particular moment. And it was perfect, <laughs> just perfect for that part, okay. Other than that, um, another con, which I'm going to dispel immediately, um, Peach is very active in this movie. She does stuff. She goes places. She fights. Now, some of you will think that um, this is abnormal. They're just, I've heard people say they're trying to modernize her. I've heard people say they're trying to make her Daisy. But um, Peach has been established outside of Mario games in other lore. Like, 
there is the Super Mario Bros. Adventures comics. These were comics that would appear in the Nintendo Power magazine. So that it's from coming from Nintendo themselves, so you can take that as canon. You will see Peach and Bowser acting very much like their movie counterparts are acting. The first thing Bowser does when he comes is he whips out a microphone and he starts singing. We'll get to that in a moment. But Peach is very active. She's all about protecting her kingdom. She's all about doing things herself. And in the comic book version, she just goes ahead to try and take Bowser on by herself because Mario's incapacitated. All right? This Peach is very active. And one thing I need you to understand is that there are two elements when working against them for the story of the movie. One, they are working on so little base material from the games. The Mario storylines are so simplistic and repeated that it is it is painful for people. And there are people, Mr. Shintaro, Mr. Koizumi, who are trying to put story in Mario games. And it's showing up like in Galaxy and other forms in secret. But you have to understand, as they are making games, as Illumination is making this movie, there is someone who will not be named, Shigeru Miyamoto, sitting right next to them who will just slap the pen out of their hand every time they make anything story related. <laughs> so they have had to weave and turn and hide story in there. Like all the story in the, the main, where it started happening, you have like Mario Galaxy and some of the Luigi games where it's like, if you go and look, if you go and read this storybook, if you complete this challenge, you can just read this little blurb, maybe it's nothing, but there'll be lore bombs dropped in there. And we will talk about that in a moment. But other than that, um, and just a lack of understanding of how the Mario world works, I would say that that's it for the cons. It's all positive. Now, if for some reason you're going to see this movie and you know nothing about Mario, it is very clear that there's a real world, which is fantastic, and we'll go into depth in that in a moment. But they, when they leave the real world, it is very clear. There are lights and Stargate effects and all kinds of stuff on the screen to let you know we are leaving the real world and we are going to not another physical place. We're going to another dimension. Maybe another universe, maybe another planet, maybe all of the above. They're very clear. So when you get to the Mushroom Kingdom or just Planet Nintendo, it will f it has its own laws of physics. It has its own rules. Now, if you play Mario games, if you're a Nintendo fan, these physics are going to make sense. The way Koopa shells work, the way explosions work, why blocks just float there, which Mario will straight up ask. He asked a lot of questions that I wanted him to ask that you will have asked for years. Why power-ups exist? What do they do? How do you lose power-ups? Why do uh, the how carts work? How driving physics work? All these things that are normal in the games are just the physics of Planet Nintendo. And you are expected to just kind of either A, you know what this stuff is, or B, just, just roll with it. <laughs> now, that said, they had a choice. They could have gone through and explained every little thing. And they explain a few things. It's like, when you get a power-up, which there are, and I love that they just call them. Peach is like, oh, these are power-ups. Just use them. They make you stronger. And they do crazy stuff. They don't explain every power-up. They explain if you get hit, just some kind of physical damage, you lose the power-up. I would have loved to have seen someone take emotional damage and lose a power-up, by the way, just as a joke. But they, they just explain a little bit and everything else, it just kind of just go with it. Why are, why are bombs and bullet bills, why are these things alive? Just go with it. <laughs> like, if you didn't play the game, you just, I guess you just showed up to, like, some children's movie, but just except it's another dimension where things are weird and maybe a little wild wacky and just go with it like cartoon dimension and that's aside um other than that things that are great um i was terrified about the voice cast originally but chris pat's fine he's fine he does solid he said uh, you very quickly get used to it now if you've only ever heard mario from the games if you never watched any of the cartoons or the anime or other properties if you only know charles martinet Mario, then it might be a little jarring. But if you've heard other Mario voices before, especially like the cartoon back in the day, you'll be totally fine. You'll be totally fine. And Mr. Martinet, um, you may hear his voice a couple times. 
three times in the movie and it is great. It goes at its pace. They go to other locations and you've seen, I can talk about this because it's in the trailer. You will see places like there's Bomb on Battlefield from Mario 64 and it is like lavishly rendered. It is so beautiful that the only way I recognized that this is Bomb on Battlefield was that <laughs> there's the cannon and like there's like a floating island up in the level. And if those two elements were there, I would just think this is just some beautiful nature they're walking through. And and it is great. You get, um, there's a lot of character development, especially with uh, the Marios, I'll leave it at that, uh, with Peach and a lot of Bowser. Like Bowser is like locked in, established, like this is what he is, this is his day job, this is what he does in private, and it is perfect. <laughs> like, I don't think, if you, complain about Bowser here, just, you're not gonna like anything Mighty Z has to say, <laughs> because he's just, it's so, like, like I said, if you read the comics, if you look at other materials, it's so on brand for how Bowser works. Even the singing it has been established, even, you know, Jack Black's in the movie, obviously there's gonna be some kind of musical number. In fact, there's much less singing than I thought there would be. It's there. <laughs> but don't don't go expecting to see a whole lot. You can go find it right now on YouTube, like, longer versions of what is sung, but it's just so perfect for the character, perfect voice actor to be singing it, and just, it's so on brand with what his character's about. Now, at the same time, Bowser is still intimidating, he's scary, and you may or may not see something die on screen. And on that note, they don't hold back with uh, that. Like, characters straight up look like Mario, I'm gonna kill you. Not destroy you, not send you to the um, Shadow Realm or another dimension, no. They're like, I'm gonna kill you, and they like have spikes and like guns, and Crab is like, you, you, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I was very, very surprised by that. How openly they talk about death. It's, um, if you played Paper Mario on a Thousand Years Door, there is a gallows <laughs> right there in the middle of town. And I'm like, do Mario characters die? Do they have capital punishment? But after seeing this, oh yeah. Like, I could see that totally happening. And it is great. And besides that, I think... The relationship between all the characters, Mario Luigi, Mario Peach, is actually there. Uh, Peach Bowser is actually there. Toad, like, why is that Toad special? Is that Toad the Toad? And you'll just get a little music. And listen to the music and you'll be like, oh, okay. You're that Toad. <laughs> and it's like, why are you that Toad? They answer that. They go there and by the end you'll be like, okay. That toad is that toad. <laughs> That'll make sense later, or it won't. Don't worry about it. If you have a question, ask about it in the comments later, or listen to the non-spoiler part. And on that note, that's pretty much all I could say without spoilers at this point. So at this point, spoilers are coming. If you do not want to see spoilers, you can go now. You can leave now. Watch other Mighty Z content. We have Let's Plays, talking about games, game-related movies, and other stuff. Let me know. You can go. But here, spoilers are coming in. I am not joking. <laughs> All right.